Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. Welcome. I hope you stay and subscribe and join the fam. There's currently construction going on outside and it's been going on for literally like a month now and won't be done till January. So I hope we're getting used to it. I'm definitely not. But I'm going to be doing a little day in the life today because I have so much to do today and I need to be productive and I haven't been very productive lately. So today is the day to get everything done that I need to get done and we're starting in 10 minutes because I have my notebook launch at 10 a.m. which is in 11 minutes so I really need to get ready really quick make my bed I just showered really quickly and yeah we have a really exciting day but a really really busy day so let's go all done that was a very quick bed making montage but that's because I'm like rushing Hello, Biscuit. Come here. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. People think you're so cute, but you're actually so bad. Anyways, I now have nine minutes, so I'm going to do my skincare really quickly. Urology. Okay, I just did my skincare and put some hoops in. And now I need to get ready for this notebook launch. Basically, all I need to do is go on Etsy and make it public because it's already, like, as a draft on there. Um, so yeah, I have, like, five minutes, I think. Yes, it's 9.55, and I'm very, very excited for this. I hope they don't sell out as fast as they normally do because I have a bigger stock this time. And also, I just really hope it doesn't so that more people can get it. Yeah, but either way, I'm very grateful, and I'm very, very excited to do this. And then I'm probably going to end up um, putting shipping labels and stuff on all the notebooks today anyways i'm literally just talking to you as like assuming you already know what i'm talking about but if you don't basically i created these notebooks and i'm selling them on my etsy shop to you guys so yeah i'm really excited they're the best notebooks i have ever had i'm not even just saying that because they're mine but i'm serious they're amazing they're so soft and they're not hard cover like as you can see they're soft cover but they have this cardboard piece in here which keeps it sturdy you know what i mean so it's really nice and it's also dot gridded so i'm so excited i already started using mine as you can see but yeah it comes in these two really pretty colors and kind of late by the time i'm telling you this now but i hope you were able to get one if you did it's now 9.57, I have three minutes. I still need to make coffee and all that too, so I'm a little behind today, but that's okay. Um, I just did not want to get out of bed, but I guess I'll show you what I have to do today. I look like Mother Mary. I have to, let's see, I woke up gratefully. <laughs> I showered. Um, I still need to have coffee and breakfast, and you do my devotional. I have to do my launch. I have to watch um, a lot of Abnormal Psych lecture videos. There's like seven of them, I think, because it's on two chapters, and I have to watch those those are like 15 minutes long each so it's gonna take me a while and then i have a psych um zoom class at 5 ish p.m i don't know my professor still hasn't reached out to us about this week yet in classes today but you know i'm just waiting for that it's anywhere around five but we don't know yet and then i have to maybe print all my shipping labels that i have sold um we'll see how that goes maybe i'll do it tomorrow i'm um, vlogging all day today and then yeah that's about it i feel like i had more to do but i guess not we now have one minute oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm not ready okay so basically what i'm gonna do is go on my instagram and get ready for that oh my gosh i'm like nervous Nervous. Why? I need to find my profile. I need to share a link from my Etsy shop. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go on Instagram and I already pre-made stories from last night. So I have this one right here. It's just a basic swipe up link. They're here. So I'm going to get this one ready and then I have a few other stories that I'm going to post. So right at 10 o'clock. <sighs> okay, it's 10. So I'm going to press publish on here. I'm publishing those. I don't know why I get so nervous when I do this. I just don't want to mess up and I don't want it to happen wrong. Why is it taking so long? Active. Oh my gosh. Post this story. Why doesn't it say it's active? Oh my goodness. Um, 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 um. It says it's active, but it's not showing up on my... So that was very stressful, and it's still stressing me out because I don't know why they weren't showing up, but I had to go find the listing by searching the actual product and then getting the link from the actual listing and then sharing it. Very complicated, but I think we're good now. I shared that link, so I think people should be able to find it, but I don't know why, and I feel really bad that people weren't able to find it before. So I'm really sorry if you were one of those people that were struggling, but let's check how many are left in stock. There's 119 left. 
it so we're doing good and i hope 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 people are able to get them a lot of people are messaging me saying that they can't find it so i'm gonna go and try to just send everybody the link because i feel really bad so that's what i'm gonna do and i'll see you at sellout maybe <laughs> there's currently 30 left someone just commented on my youtube community post and said like how to find it if you're having trouble so thank you so much to you if you helped people out i really really appreciate that and i'm sorry about how crazy it was and how much it wasn't working i don't understand maybe selling them on etsy isn't the smartest idea for future launches um <sighs> But I'm glad people are getting it now. I'm really sorry. I honestly, I guess I don't know how to work Etsy. But yeah, we have 27 more. I'm really, really happy. And I will let you guys know once everything is gone. There are eight more notebooks, you guys. Seven now. Okay, so <laughs> I sold out. But a few people like accidentally bought two notebooks so then I had to refund them for one and then I had to repost it on my shop. I'm just very confused because I hope I didn't oversell notebooks that I don't have, you know, by moving more notebooks into like the active section. And then some people are already telling me that they messed up on their address so they're sending me their new address. It's just a whole lot of information and I'm very confused right now and a little bit overwhelmed so I'm kind of scared that I did oversell but I don't think I did. Um, I think I was really careful with it but just in case I'm going to go and count literally all the notebooks that I have and then go count all the orders that I have because some people order two so I can't just count the orders but I have to count the actual number of notebooks that are sold it's just kind of a mess so I'm gonna go back and do that right now and then figure it all out and make sure everything is good but yeah okay so I just counted all of my physical notebooks that I have here and that's all good now I need to go in my orders it says I have 189 orders um and I'm selling 100 notebook or 200 notebooks but I'm pretty sure a lot of people bought two notebooks so I'm kind of confused and I need to figure out um exactly how many I sold to make sure that I sold the right amount yes God bless, I didn't oversell. I was really stressing out about it, but um, so I sold 198, which is good because I'm giving one to somebody in person and then I'm shipping one separately, so that equals 200. But if you guys want insight, I've never really shown you, like, yes, I say, oh, I sold out every time, but like the first time I launched, I had no idea that people would wanna buy my notebooks. So I only, I only ordered like 35 or something like that. And I sold out with that in like literally five minutes, which was crazy. So then I restocked and I ordered 100. 100, I believe yeah 100 for my second restock and that sold out super super fast to like 10 15 minutes So then this time I doubled my um, order and sold 200 which is still so much you guys It may not be like a lot for considering however how many people like actually want to buy it Whenever I post a poll on my story like how many people plan to actually buy a notebook So I know how many to order I get over a thousand yeses and as much as I would so do that for you guys like I'm doing all this labor myself. I'm right in the middle of my school semester. I'm in the middle of working as a YouTuber full time and it's just so much work, um, which is why I have to keep my like products limited or else I would be so blown away and overwhelmed with how much I have to do Um, because I do package all these myself. I print the shipping labels. I ship them all myself and it would be seriously crazy to ship a thousand notebooks. So I hope you guys understand the limited quantity like reason um but yeah maybe in the future if i if this goes somewhere else you know maybe i'll have a warehouse <laughs> probably not but we'll see but yeah thank you guys so much for ordering i love you guys so much i'm so so grateful i'm probably gonna be sh printing or at least like figuring out all the addresses for the shipping labels today and hopefully shipping them out within the next three days i'm gonna aim for three days at the latest um but yeah thank you guys so much i love you guys so much okay now that that is done i crossed that off my to-do list i need to do something with my hair because i haven't brushed it yet and then i need to go make some coffee because i really need some coffee and some breakfast i'm actually really hungry if you want to know my little hair care routine first i take my wet brush rip out all of the hair that is in here because my hair falls out so easily because i have so much of it rip it all out ew this is like the worst part okay and then ouch I love hair washing days. I don't know about you, I literally used to wash my hair every single day, but I've been trying to get way better at that and I think I have gotten way better. I only wash it every other day, sometimes more, um, but sometimes every day. It all depends, but I'm definitely spacing it out more, which is really nice and really good for my hair. So I'm so happy about that. So I'll just brush it out and then I always take this heritage take your vitamins argan oil and put it in my hair because i love this stuff it smells so good and it makes my hair so soft there's a fly on my ceiling can you see it 
No, you can't. I take a couple pumps, spread it around, and then I put it in half. I really want to go to Starbucks as like a little celebration, but I think I'm locked in because of the construction and they're blocking my driveway, I'm pretty sure. So I can't exactly leave, which is sad. On another note, who remembers how short my hair was a few months ago? And look at it now. This is what can happen, guys, if you really take care of your hair and put the right products in it and just take care of it because my hair was so short a few months ago and it's so long already and I'm very happy because I really missed my long hair but that's all I do with my hair literally nothing it was not interesting at all and I'm gonna go make some coffee and breakfast because I'm really hungry and I really want coffee so let's go How will I Some breakfast in front of me so I actually went to Trader Joe's yesterday and got a bunch of goodies and one of them I got the La Colombe um, peppermint mocha latte and they're lactose free so actually very good also I'm not a huge fan of like cold brews so they're like cold brew latte I really don't like it their pumpkin spice one from fall I didn't really like either but this one is actually pretty good I can definitely get past it it's very good. And then I made some sourdough toast to one of them with vegan butter and everything with the bagel seasoning. And then the other one with almond butter and cinnamon. Such an array, I know. But I'm gonna eat this. Probably watch a video while I eat breakfast. Well, it's 11 o'clock now, so kind of lunch. And then get some work done, so yeah. Okay, I'm done with breakfast. Well, I've been done for a little bit. But I was watching Brittany's new video because she finally, finally posted a new video reviewing um, this straightener and she tried it on Mia's hair. And obviously, if you haven't seen Mia's hair, it's literally so curly. Well, this isn't brushed out, so it's very poofy. But she straightened her whole head and it's so pretty once she finished. So yeah, I'm gonna link her video down below. Go support her and go subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. So yeah, all of you guys that were subscribed to me when she lived with me, you're all very big fans of her already, so. <laughs> Go subscribe and support assist. Okay, it's, what time is it? I actually have no idea. <clears throat> and this construction outside is driving me crazy. It's 11.51. I think I'm actually going to um, kind of style my hair. I, she kind of inspired me to do something with my hair because it's just kind of weirdly wavy right now. I'm going to use the Revlon, what's this called again? Revlon, I, do, I don't remember. Pro Styler, something like that. I don't know, but I'm just gonna blow it out really quick because it's still a tiny bit wet still on the inside, so I'm gonna blow it out and kind of straighten it a little. But yeah, here's me. I put this sweatshirt on also. I love Indie Blue and Lonely Ghost, if you don't know, so I'm just like a jumbled mess low-key right now. So I'm gonna fix up my hair a little bit and then get stuff done. I always, always, always use heat protectant now. If you were to ask me a few months ago or even a couple months ago, I would say, no, I don't own heat protectant because I never used to use it and I don't put a lot of heat on my hair anyways. But, like, I would literally never use it. I didn't even own any. But I use this one every time I use heat on my hair now. It's the Bondi Boost Heat Protecting Spray. I just, it makes me feel a lot better, you know, when I use it. So, that's what I'm going to be spraying in my hair today. I think I'm just going to half eat it and then do bottom half. I'm not a pro at using this. I haven't used it that much. So, please bear with me as I try to navigate this. But, we'll see what it ends up looking like. But first... I'm kind of just going to go for it. I think I'm going to put it on the low setting um, and then seal it with like the cool setting. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't really know, but let's do this. I just hate how loud it is. I really don't like the sound. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the first bottom half. It didn't do too much, but I don't really know how to use it. So if you have any tips, let me know. <laughs> but it did straighten it more than this side. Yeah, it did. But I'm gonna do the rest of my hair now and then let you know after. Okay, I just finished blowing it all out and it does look 
a lot more like full and voluminous and definitely very very soft and straighter but the ends are like kind of have some volume you know overall i really like it so i'm definitely gonna do that more i don't use that too often but i think i should because i really like how my hair turned out so yeah okay we need to get some work done because i've been extremely stalling today so let's do some stuff all right taking another look at my to-do list while i finish my coffee what do i have to do i definitely need to watch my abnormal psych lectures because i haven't done that yet but i'm so confused because why has my professor not messaged us i don't know she usually tells us exactly um like what time class is gonna be at least a couple days before you know but she didn't tell us today and yes that sounds kind of weird like why don't we know what time class is but it's because we she split our class into two separate groups like discussion groups so an early discussion group and a late discussion group so we either meet at 5 or 5 15 or 5 30 and depending on the week like how much content she has to teach us and stuff so it all depends so i'm still waiting on what time we're meeting today but it's 12 12 right now so i have some time to kill i think what i'm actually going to do because i need to do this is transfer um my one login information from my old phone to my new phone because i really need to do that i need to figure out how to do it I think I need to like call the company actually, but we're gonna see what the deal is with that and yeah. Okay, so my old phone is actually dead, so I have to take time to plug it in and revive it before I start switching over that login stuff. But right now I'm going and purchasing all of my shipping labels because through Etsy, it makes it pretty easy. So like the buyer pays for shipping, but I have to go and confirm all the addresses basically and buy all the shipping labels and then print them and stuff. So what I'm doing right now is going through every single order. I mean, it makes it pretty easy. I'm just gonna show you what I mean. So basically I have a bunch of orders here and I can do 50 at a time. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and it tells me if the address is USPS verified, which means it's good to go. The address is a real address. And then it also tells me like which ones are international. So this one's from, this one's going to the Netherlands, which is so crazy. And I can't like approve those ones um, because USPS doesn't ship to the Netherlands, obviously. So, so that has to be done later on, but all of these look good. So thank you guys so much for putting in your correct address. I really, really appreciate it because sometimes, oh, like this one you see sometimes um the addresses are missing things and i have to get in contact with you guys it's a lot of work because sometimes you guys don't answer and then it's hard for me to like figure out the correct address and then it gets sent back to me if it's wrong and that stuff but it should be good we should figure this out fine so i'm gonna finish up this stuff and then yeah okay i've confirmed all but two orders so i'm just waiting on two people to message me back about confirming their address because usps won't recognize them and i had the same exact problem last time when someone ordered from puerto rico because the like address just looks very different than like what i'm used to so some of these i can go and fix myself like just the formatting because i'm used to like us well obviously Puerto Rico is a U.S. Ter territory, which I didn't know before. But anyways, um, some I can go and fix myself, but these ones I can't because I'm very confused. So I have one from the U.S., but it's Washington, and it's a very strange address, so I need to have her fix her address. And then I have another one from Puerto Rico that I'm waiting to get confirmed also. So I'm just waiting for those, and then I'm going to print all of the shipping labels and stuff. And yeah, but I think I'm going to take a quick break from this and start my lecture videos because I keep talking about them and I just really don't want to do it so yeah I need to stop stalling and while I wait for these people to answer I'm going to work on homework <laughs> about their thoughts and you know their cognitions but it's more um their symptoms tend to be much more behavioral and somatic so they will okay I just printed all of my labels oh my gosh this printer paper though by the way is amazing it's just i got it off of amazon it's um sticker label printer paper so it prints two labels on a sheet and you can just rip them off like a sticker so time friendly and so helpful when it comes to packaging like big orders i even do it for my um poshmark orders which is so nice and really helps a lot so highly recommend this if you sell stuff a lot too because it makes it so easy just make sure it's compatible with your printer because that's a big thing but i started running out of ink at the end so my ink is kind of like blue on some of them hopefully it doesn't matter but yeah 
so many labels. Like this is how we started out with the black and then it turned blue. But I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Well, like right now for my notebooks, I really need to focus on school right now as I keep saying, and it's so annoying that I keep saying that, but I'm sorry. I just really don't wanna do it. But since I got all of this done, all I literally have to do left for my notebooks is figure out each order and if they got a red or a green one, and then I'm gonna have to stick them on the packages and figure out also how to combine the packages because some I packaged them all before I launched and I didn't take into account that people were gonna buy more than one so for the one people that did buy like two I'm gonna need to figure out how to package them together sturdily um, I might just have to tape them super crazily together but we'll see but I'm gonna worry about that tomorrow because I'm not gonna do this today um, at least until I finish all my work so notebook break and I need to do some videos so, Pro tip, watch your lecture videos in two times speed. Okay, last video. If you ask me how much I've actually learned through watching these, watching and listening to these videos, I'd say just about nothing because it's just so much information and this type of stuff doesn't come easy to me. But we're on our last video, so that'll be a huge weight off my shoulders. So, finally finished those videos. I've really been dreading doing them, as you know. I'm talking about dreading it this whole day. But I'm finally done, so I don't have to worry about that anymore unless she sends out some discussion questions, which she probably will because she always does. Does. But I'm gonna go make some lunch now because I'm really hungry and it's 2.30. It's time to eat. So I'm probably just gonna make a frozen meal that I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. But we'll see. Also, so random, but look at my plant. Look how much it's grown. Like, this is insane. I'm probably, also, I have some Christmas decor over there. Um, piling up for a future video that I'm gonna do. Obviously, redecorating my room which is really exciting. I also have maybe a Christmas tree from Amazon coming for my room today and also some new curtain lights, but stay tuned for my decorating my room for Christmas video whenever that comes out. I need to still finish shopping for that because I'm not done yet. I still need to go to Target. <sighs> But yeah, I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas. Finally, just made some lunch. This is the vegan vegetable pad thai from Trader Joe's. It's definitely, if not my favorite, one of my favorite frozen meals from Trader Joe's. I'm not vegan, but if you are vegan, it's so good. Such a good option. And it's so easy to make. You literally just pop it in the microwave for like five to six minutes. And it's so good. Maybe I'm just obsessed with pad thai because I am. But I highly recommend. Like, just look at this deliciousness. Oh my gosh. And it has tofu in it also. So good. But I actually just got something added to my to-do list. So I need to update a video that I've been working on and like make some edits to it or I can post it. So I do need to do that. Probably going to get a head start on that right now. So yeah. Okay, I just finished all the edits on that video. I thought it was going to be more difficult than it actually was so that's really good <laughs> so sorry but it's 3 30 now and still have not heard from my professor yet so are we even having class today i don't know kind of hoping we don't have class but that's kind of insane if we don't i'm sure we do but she's just really slacking on telling us what time it's at so yeah also oh my gosh i forgot to show you i literally bought myself flowers at trader joe's yesterday they're little mums just some like dark red and white ones kind of getting in the christmas spirit a little bit. I love it so much. But yeah, this video is exporting and I need to send it back in for approval. It's a little bit of a different video than I normally do because not a vlog, obviously. And it's just about like 10 healthy habits that I've implemented in 2020 to have like a better, happier life. So, well, we're very zoomed. <laughs> yeah, I'll update you once I have an update. Finally finished. <laughs> just sent that in and then also got an update from my professor. We do have class at 5 to six so not excited but i'm gonna have a little snack really quick trader joe's was stocked with the christmas snacks so i had to pick up these peppermint pretzel slims i'm so excited to try them my sister told me to get these from costco because they have a costco version but i don't go to costco really so i found them at trader joe's and i'm very excited also sold two things on poshmark so i need to print the shipping labels for those and ship those out probably tomorrow but i've been so go 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 all day today and i'm so exhausted so i have class in an hour i think i'm just gonna chill and rest until then because like i said i've just done so much today and and it's been a long day, so I'm gonna eat some of my pretzels and chill for a little bit. The sun's also gonna set, like, soon, so enjoy this crazy lighting. Okay, I just printed the shipping labels for my Poshmark orders. I'm just packaging these really quick and easy. 
I have like 15 minutes till I have class, so gotta do this. But really though, this label paper, amazing. Don't know what I would do without it, honestly. <laughs> Makes things so easy. Easy as that. All done. So I'm probably gonna go drop those off at the post office tomorrow. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just got a little package delivery from a local like small business that a girl that I went to high school with actually, well, she was older than me, so we didn't really talk but we still know each other. And I wanted to show you because she has the cutest pieces and she literally just dropped it off in my house and left it on my doorstep and then DM'd me and told me it was here. And I have five minutes till class, so I need to hurry and go through this really quick, but I'm so excited and I'm definitely gonna be talking about them in a future video. Also, when I'm planning to do like a little small business haul, so I'm very excited. This is Bleached Babes on Instagram. So cute, it has a little care little care tips oh my gosh this is so cute so they gave me a purple and white tie-dye set so a crew and then also some sweats how cute you guys oh my gosh and then what i'm so excited for their holiday collection pants look how cute these are oh my gosh i'm so excited to wear these and pair them with something cute they say nice on the butt because that's me but i'm so excited to wear these so thank you guys so much so 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 much i'll have their instagram linked below they are like a tie-dye shop and they sell sets and so many different things so go check them out but i'm so happy they're so cute okay but i need to get ready for class now because it's in like four minutes so i need to log on to zoom and get ready for this class not really ready because she didn't really prepare us at all for this but we're gonna see what we can do so i'm gonna log on really quickly and then i'll probably see you after class i don't plan on vlogging class because you need to focus but i'll see you right after that class is finished with it was really chill we just asked questions and she answered questions about like the final and our final project and a bunch of stuff i'm not looking forward to but it was fine because we didn't really have to do anything now it's 5 55 i'm gonna make some dinner because i'm really hungry i just made some well two turkey corn dogs from trader joe's i've been craving corn dogs i don't know what it is i've had the weirdest cravings lately like yesterday i was craving fettuccine alfredo even though i can't eat it because of the dairy but then i was craving corn dogs so here are turkey corn dogs so they're a little more healthy right <laughs> and no i'm not pregnant i just have weird cravings um so i'm gonna eat this okay i think what i'm going to do is start putting the shipping labels on some of my notebooks i know i said i wasn't gonna do it tonight but i kind of want to just because i kind of have nothing else to do there's a lot of things i could do but oh no it's due tomorrow. I was thinking about a homework assignment, but it's due tomorrow, so I'm good. Um, I'm just going to do a few just to like get in the groove of it and start cutting down on this stack. So exactly what I'm going to do is use my iPad to help me out in this process. And I'm going to go on the Etsy app. I'm going to take a shipping label, look at the name, and then I'm going to go in my orders, look up the name. <clears throat> And then I'm going to look and see if they got a red or a green. She got a green, so I'm going to take the green one, rip off the label, and stick it right on the package. And there's my first one. Oh my gosh. Shout out to you, Jessica. You're a real one. Thanks for supporting me. I love you. So I'm just going to keep doing that and then I'm going to watch some videos and catch up on my um, watch later playlist because it's pretty full right now. So cue the time lapse, I guess. Oh, it also just says that my tree was attempted to be delivered, but it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it's because of the construction, which is really frustrating because this has happened to me so many times. It says it, would it was attempted 40 minutes ago, but that makes no sense because the construction wasn't going on 40 minutes ago. It says they're going to try again, so hopefully it gets delivered today or tomorrow, but we'll see about that. We're not putting it up yet anyways, so it's okay, but we're going to start packaging these notebooks, so let's go. a little bit of an update these are all the ones that are done still have to get through all of these so let's keep going 
Oh my gosh, I finally finished. Me, I said I was literally gonna do like 10 and I ended up doing all 200. That's just me, I just can't take a break and I just, once I start something, I have to finish it. Let me know if you're the same. <laughs> but I just put the labels on all of them and then I ended up realizing that I was, I had too many greens left over and that I was missing some reds and I was like, oh my gosh. So then I had to go through every single name again, search up the name, make sure that was the correct color that they ordered and I ended up being wrong on like five or six of them so I had to rip the labels off and put them on the right ones and then I finally evened it all out and it all made sense in the end but I'm so glad that I went over them and triple triple double triple checked them because I wouldn't want to send you guys the wrong color that you ordered and I was going to but I'm so glad that's done my back is like aching now because if I was like hunched over the whole time and that lasted like two or three hours it's 8 45 now oh my gosh almost nine o'clock and I still need to do a homework assignment but I'm gonna do that after I get in bed and everything so I think I'm just gonna go wash my face brush my teeth and yeah probably in this vlog here because don't think I'm gonna do anything more interesting tonight other than homework and get ready for bed and go to sleep so it really was a pretty interesting vlog and you got to see a lot of behind the scenes of my notebook launch and packaging all those orders and I'll just show you what they look like right now this is all of them so crazy that pack right there is the people that ordered two so i need to figure out how to like bind them together but yeah they look so good and i'm so excited and i'm gonna start shipping them out tomorrow probably uh, i posted this on my story but i'm probably gonna do it in like three waves so i'm gonna do a third tomorrow a third on friday and a third on saturday because i don't want to ship them all out at the same time so i can like keep track of them better you know so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you're not already to join the fam and if you want to support me by liking and commenting i would really appreciate that. Thank you guys. I love you so much with my whole entire heart and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.